side in the second row. Get a mic over to you. Rob Lewis with VolQuest.com. Josiah, just as, as a senior, a guy who's been around here for so long, what, what's the personal significance for you for being part of the team that's going to the Elite Eight for just the second time in school history? It's a blessing just to be here. You know, we've put in so much work from, you know, for me for five years and every guy up here since they've been here. And they're great leaders. Um, it's, this is the best group I've ever been around. And so just to have this moment with these guys and making history, uh, we're, we're not done yet. We know that, but we're so happy to be one step closer to our end goal. And it's just, it's just amazing to see all of our hard work finally pay off. We'll go to the first row on the left. Vedant Gupta, Global Kid Media. Coach Barnes, over the last few decades, you've coached some incredibly talented teams. But off the court, there's qualities that help a team make a run to the Elite Eight, like this team. What about the character of these young men on this team, on and off the court, make them so great? Well, if, if you were with us every day, I think you'd understand why I still love coaching so much. Because what you see those guys do tonight, I watch them do it every day. And they would tell you that. You know, we, we do. We go at it probably sometimes too hard, but uh, they've embraced it. I mean, each one of these guys in their own way has brought something to our program when, when we recruited them. But uh, it's, it's their effort. And, again, uh, they demand it from each other. And only the days when they're a little tired, maybe I get on them. But otherwise, they, they do a pretty good job pushing themselves and coaching themselves, knowing what it takes to win at this level. We're going to flip it back over to the right side, starting in the third row here. If we can get a mic on the end. Ryan Sylvia, Rivals.com. Josiah, just how big was what Jemiah gave you in off bats at the game without Santi? I mean, Jemiah is huge. He's a cornerstone of this team. The effort and the things he brings on both ends of the floor is, it doesn't show up in the stat sheet all the time, but we know, and the guys in the locker room know what he brings is, you know, not many people in the country can do. We believe he's the best defender. The, these two next to me are the two best defenders in the country in their position for sure. They can guard one through five, two of the toughest guys I've ever been around. But what Jamai brings, it, it, it's hard to put into words, and it doesn't show up every night in the, in the stat sheet. But it's something that he's done his whole life and has gotten, up, gotten him to this point right now. We'll stay on the right side in the fifth row. Questions for the student athletes? Uh, John Sartori, WVLT TV. Jamai, when did you find out that you were going to be inserted into the starting lineup? And then to get this win for Santi and to give him a, a chance to play on Sunday, just what does that do for you guys and how much, how important was that? Um, I actually didn't, I didn't know until I think probably shoot around earlier today. I kind of had a feeling, but I, you know, I just wasn't sure. Um, but the, I mean, I've been, I've been raised to, to prosper in, in, in tough situations. And when my name is called to rise up to that occasion, I wouldn't be doing my job right now as a Christian if I didn't thank God and, and for everything that he's done for me individually and as this, uh, with this team. Because I just, ever since last year, I've been fighting to try and get past the Sweet 16, not just for me, but for my teammates, for Coach Barnes, just to see how much he puts into the team. And he doesn't want the publicity for it. Um, and that's something that, that I just love about our program, about, our, about my coach and my teammates. So. Um, you know, God has gotten me here. God has, has given me the ability to to just go into any situation and, and try to make the best out of it. You know, my whole goal on this team is, is to impact winning. And if that means I got to start, I haven't started in a minute, but if that means I have to start and come in and do what I got to do, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, you know, I'm hurting. <laughs> my back hurts. I'm tired. But, man, it's, it's anything to win, man. It's anything to win. And uh, I just I, I love this team. And I just love how much we fought, how much we came together in times of adversity through that game. It just shows how much our character is is going into play in this tournament. We're gonna bring it back over to the left, right here on the end. Rick Butler, Rocky Top Insider, Zakai. Just what was the plan of attack for the mid range on offense tonight? Yeah, well, uh, we knew Trey Alexander going into the game that he's a really good mid range shooter and. That you know, good players are gonna get to the, they're gonna get the ball, they're gonna get to their spots, but we just gotta do whatever we do to uh, stop them from making a shot, really. But I feel like we just went to the game with the right game plan, and just everybody was locked in. We stay on the left, fourth row with Pat. Yeah. Pat Forty from Sports Illustrated for Josiah. Uh, the second half, you guys just hit him with defense, rebounding, kind of staples of what you guys have been about. Can you kind of walk through that effort that you put in there to, to kind of take control of the game? Yeah, I mean, you don't rise to the level 
or to the occasion you fall to the level of your preparation. And that's something, if you come and watch us 365 days of the year, those are the staples of our team, something that we do each and every day. And so in the biggest stage of college basketball, we're, we're going to fall back to our habits, and those are our habits. You know, defensive rebounding are something that you can take, whether you're making shots, playing well on offense, being able to rebound the ball and guard people is, 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 is instrumental. And, and especially in a tournament like this, when shots you know, may not be falling, and you know, just having those as our backbone is huge. We'll stay on the left in the second row. For any of the players, uh, can you reflect on your logo to rim defense that just really made the difference? Jamal, you want to take that one? <laughs> uh, um, you know, I think that's just, just what we do. It's what we do, and it, I think it separates us as a team. Because, you know, guys think that early pressure is going to happen. It just happens with basketball. But to sustain that for as long as we do, that, that wears on teams. That wears on teams. Trust me. When you have a guy like Zakai pressuring the ball and trying to get at it, and you got to worry about him stealing the ball, him, him tipping passes, it's hard to run your offense. It's hard to get into your offense. And I think that that is um, something that can't be replaced or, or um, you know, it's something that we need on the court. So, um, I think it's, it, it's great that we pressure the ball and, and, you know, that we're able to do that. But for as long as we, we do it, that's what separates us from, from you know, every other team is it, we sustain it. We'll bring it to the front row here on the left. Denon Skupta, Global Media. Zakai, for you, you've been through so much adversity off the court to get to where you are today. and You play with so much heart. If you could reflect on the journey that it's taken to get to where you are right now, what can you say about that? And if you if you could even go back and tell yourself when you were going through adversity one thing, what would you say? Yeah, I would just say, uh, as of right now, I would just say God is great. You know, uh, he's given me these opportunities, and I've just taken as much advantage as I can of them. And, you know, uh, me and Coach G, we had a long talk uh, when I was going through the rehab process, and he was just saying it's going to be dark days, it's going to be ups, it's going to be downs, but I just got to keep my head down and work. And I feel like throughout this whole time, I just kept doing that. and. I'm just so thankful to be in this position I am in today. Any other questions for the players? On the right side. Hey, Zakai, Danny Cap, Associated Press Broadcast. Um, if you can just speak to the way that 18-0 run uh, shaped the outcome of the game, because uh, you guys were, at that point, uh, able to give yourself some cushion uh, and able to absorb their, their comeback. Yeah, well, we just kept telling ourselves just to be uh, relentless. Uh, we were saying that before the game, just keep being relentless. And we understand that basketball is a game of runs. It's going to be ups, going to be downs. And, you know, we went on our run, but getting back into the huddle, we kept telling ourselves, like, hey, uh, we just got to stay within the game, you know, uh, and just get back on defense and keep doing what we do. And I feel like we just did exactly that. Any other questions for the student athletes? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. You can head back to the locker room.